Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to record a 360 video in Unity. Once it's recorded, it can be uploaded to YouTube where it can then be viewed in 360 using a Google Cardboard. All right, let's get started. So here I have a Unity project that I'm currently working on. I'll be using this to demo the process. So the first thing you want to do is to download the Unity Recorder. You do this by going to Window, then you go to Package Manager. From here, you want to scroll down until you find Unity Recorder. And there it is. And you can go ahead and click Install. All right, now that it's been installed, we want to open the Unity Recorder window. So we can do this by going to Window again, and then you go to General. From here, you find Recorder, and you can click Recorder Window. All right, so you can go ahead and place this or dock this wherever you would like, but I usually like to place it here for visibility. All right, so now we want to click Add a Recorder here and select movie. All right, so next we want to go ahead and edit all of the options. So the first one is source. You want to go ahead and select 360 view. From here, we want to select the camera that we'll be filming from. So main camera is a default camera in Unity. It should work for most games, but if you want to add a camera or film from another angle, you can go ahead and you know add a camera here. And once you've added it, you can select it over here. Next will be um, the dimensions. We want to make the output dimensions width 4096. We can keep the height as is, and then we want the cube map size width to be 2048. All right, so next we want to deselect record in stereo. And then we want to select whether or not we want to include audio. That's personal preference. For demo purposes, I'm going to deselect. And then we can go ahead and select the quality. I like to film this in high quality, but this can also be a personal preference. After that, you can go ahead and write the file name. I'll go ahead and write demo video. And then we can select the path that we want the video to save in. You can do this by clicking here and navigating to your desired path. I'm going to keep it to the default path. By default, it's in recordings, a folder that they create inside of the project. All right, that should be it. So now I'm going to press play on the game and then I'm going to press start recording and all right, let's go. Okay, so I'm going to click play game and then I'm going to start recording. All right, so here you can go ahead and do whatever gameplay you would like. Um, so you may notice that everything's happening in slow motion here, and that might be because of the Unity version or the size of the project, but it's not something to worry about because when the video comes out, it comes out in the appropriate speed. So for time purposes, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. All right, now that we have the video recorded, we can go ahead and take a look at it. The video will be saved in the path that we um, set here, and an easy way to go straight to it is to click this button. All right, so here we are. Let's click on the video. All right, so you may notice that this video is distorted and the reason for this is that there's nothing telling the application that the video is 360. So we need 
to inject information inside the video that will let applications know that it's a 360 video. So there's an application online that helps us do just that. Let's go ahead and go to that. All right, so if you Google spatial media metadata injector, it should be the first thing that shows up. Let's click. I'll also include a link in the description. So now you want to download the appropriate um, version, either Mac or Windows. I already have it in my computer since I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app. All right. So it's here. I'm going to click it. All right. So now you want to click open. All right. So from here, you want to select your demo video. And if it doesn't bring you straight here, you can find it in the directory. All right. So click open. And now you want to go ahead and select inject metadata and save. All right, you've successfully saved the video. Let's go ahead and take a look at it again. All right, let's see what it looks like now. All right, so you may notice that we can go ahead and look around in 360. So now it's ready to be uploaded. So let's go ahead and go to YouTube and upload the video. So to upload a video on YouTube, you want to sign in to your account. And from here, you can click create, upload video. All right, so now you can either drag and drop or you can select files. So I will select the video, open. All right, so you, from here, it's the same as any process for uploading a video into YouTube. So I'll just say demo video and go ahead and this. I will select unlisted and save. All right, so now it's uploading and it should take a couple minutes depending on how long the video is. But um, for demo purposes, I will show you a video that I've already uploaded. Here it is. All right, so as you can see, you can roam around in this and view it in 360, just like before. So if you were to watch this on your phone, you would then be able to select the option to view it in your Google Cardboard, and then you could view it as if you were using a VR headset. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you for watching.